More now on one of our top stories. The WHO is sounding the alarm on mandatory COVID-19 jabs and lockdowns on the unvaccinated. It's flagged possible human rights issues. For a closer look, we're joined by Elizabeth Pisani, visiting senior research fellow from King's College London. Ms. Pisani, why is WHO only raising the alarm over civil liberties rights now? And are countries even listening? Um, two good questions. I think that uh, they have raised such issues uh, earlier in the epidemic, um, in before it was even declared a pandemic, I think some uh, many months ago now, there was concern that uh, mandatory restrictions on uh, travel were somehow a violation of civil rights and they recommended against them and I think came to regret that. So they're trying to steer a very um, clear, uh, they're trying to steer a course between allowing society to go on with its business and protecting uh, the greater good of public health. And public health, the clue is in the name. Sometimes restrictions on individual freedoms contribute to a greater public good. I think they're trying to steer that course. Um, and they're as I understand their comments, they're warning against mandatory vaccination, saying that mandatory vaccination is not necessarily the best way of achieving um, the goal of, of greater vaccination. But that's not necessarily to say that restricting the rights of people who choose not to be vaccinated should be ruled out. We've seen a great deal of success with vaccinations and lockdowns, Ms. Bassani. They've been widely used by governments around the world to cope with the pandemic. Why could these be problematic if made mandatory now? I So the... As I understand the current issue, it's having one set of rules for the vaccinated and one set of rules for the unvaccinated that is being called into question, measures that are, for example, being, uh, being considered in Austria. And the issue there, in my opinion, as a public health worker, is not particularly problematic. Frankly, it's a matter of choice. So at a time when you didn't have the choice of being vaccinated or in countries where not everyone is able to access vaccinations, then obviously it's difficult to restrict, differentially restrict the liberties of people who are vaccinated and people who aren't. But in countries where everyone has that choice and indeed is being actively encouraged and facilitated to take up that choice, if people choose not to, then restricting their access to some uh, social functions, football matches, uh, whatever, doesn't actually seem to me, from a public health point of view, or even from a civil liberties point of view, to be particularly problematic. I choose not to get a passport. I can't travel internationally. I choose not to get vaccinated. I can't go to a concert with 3,000 other people. Doesn't seem very problematic to me. I think the WHO is just trying to be cautious um, because there's a concern that anything that increases the voice, that amplifies the voice of uh, those who are most, dare I say it, shouty in the vaccine hesitancy uh, world is not a good thing. So People have legitimate reasons to be cautious about um, vaccination. Maybe they distrust their governments. They distrust the pharma industry. Um, it's those people are not going to be convinced by by being forced to do something by the powers that they distrust. So I think that's where the concern about um, making vaccines mandatory comes in. Is it problematic for the WHO to take this stance, to try and walk this very fine line? Uh, you said yourself that, you know, this becomes down to sort of choice and consequence. And isn't the greater good what the WHO is after, that personal choices become second to public health benefits? Um, I think you'll find that if you parse the WHO statements quite carefully, they are walking that line very, very carefully. So they have made statements against mandatory vaccination. And I don't think anyone um, in their right mind would consider jabbing fluids into people's arms without their consent. So that's what mandatory 
um, means to me. But I think that if you're talking about make, allowing people to make that choice, but saying with the choice, with your freedom comes a responsibility and with that freedom to make the choice not to get vaccinated, unfortunately, you have a responsibility to keep yourself away from other people. Um, I think that 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 they're still leaving the door open to um, is is my reading of of, of their position. Um, so the important thing is not to discriminate against anyone who doesn't have the choice, but to allow people the choice not to get vaccinated. If you choose not to get vaccinated, fine, but here are the things that you won't be able to do if you make that choice. Um, I think that's striking a balance between uh, private right to decide and public health. Some clear choices to be made. Ms. Pisani, thank you very much for your thoughts. It's much appreciated. Elizabeth Pisani there from King's College London.